Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 99. The question is 8. It reads, a particle P is 100 meters due west of another particle Q. The velocity of P is 6i hat plus 2j hat. The velocity of Q is negative 4i hat positive 2j hat. Show that P and Q are on a collision course. And also how much time will pass before the collision occurs. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the motion by drawing our y-axis, then our x-axis, which make our x, y, or Cartesian plane. We have our unit vectors designated as normal in the corner. So we need to draw the next the, the, the particles. So we have vp is 6i hat plus 2j hat. So it is in positive x, positive y, so it's up here, somewhere like this. And you might say that this is the vector p, or vp. I'm just going to use p, in fact, because it's just easier. And P is equal to 6i hat plus 2j hat, like so. And the next factor is Q, which is negative 4i hat, positive 2j hat. So it is in this direction. So this is Q is equal to negative 4i hat, positive 2j hat, like so. I was asked to find... Oh, that's that. wait, I've done something incorrect there. Oh, no, I haven't. No, that's correct. Now, we need to take into account their positions. So we're told that P is 100 meters due west of another particle. So because vectors have just magnitude and direction, once you, once you conserve that, you can move them anywhere. So I could pick this vector here and move it here. Or I could pick this vector here and move it here. So if I redraw that, if I redraw that, we're going to get that the vector P is going this way and the vector Q is going this way. All right. So, the next thing you need to do is uh, work out how they're going to do that. So you can take any one. You can say you can take VPQ or VQP. So I, in fact, I'm going to do both. So VPQ. First of all, it means that Q considers its stuff stationary, and what is P doing uh, relative to it? So it's VP relative to Q. So it's VP minus VQ. And you get, uh, you get 6i hat plus 2j hat minus, minus 4i hat plus 2j hat. And you get that VPQ is equal to 10i hat plus 0j hat. Alright, secondly then we'll do the next one in red. So that's we're going to get VQP. This time we're saying that P is stationary and what is Q doing it, uh, doing in respect of it? So we get, <coughs> excuse me, negative 4 I hat, positive 2 J hat, minus 6, positive 6 I hat, positive 2 J hat. Therefore VQP is equal to negative 10, uh, let's take now, I'll do this, yeah, negative 10 I hat plus 0 J hat. All right. Now, what does that mean? It means their 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 velocity vectors are going in the different directions. So let's just sketch that motion. So just just here's just a sketch of our Cartesian plane again. So we know one is going 10 i hat and one is going negative 10 i hat. So we'll say one is going this way and one is going this way. Okay, like so. I mean, and because both there, there is no, uh, there, we'll say the resultant vectors have no j hat component, that means they're only going to pass each other, we'll say, on the, uh, the x axis, which means they're on a collision course. Alright, so what else do we have to find out? How much time will pass before the collision occurs? So this just goes back to something we've done plenty of times. We have, let's say, I'll just take this one here because they are the same. So VPQ is 10 i hat plus 0 j hat. So we want to find out at half track, how much time will this will this vector create 100 meters. So the magnitude of VPQ of VPQ is equal to the square root of 10 squared plus 0 squared is equal to 10. So we have displaced or distance speed time. Therefore, we have 100 meters is equal to 10 t t is equal to 10 seconds. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Pass it on to your friends and please subscribe to my channel.